find all the local maxima, local minima, and style points of the function. You have a function right here, and you have two things you want to remember. You want to remember the if statements for saddle point, local minimum, and local maximum. And you want to remember that the discriminant d is equal to f of double x times f of double y minus f of x of y squared. So with the if statements, if the discriminant is less than zero, then you have a saddle point. If it's more than zero and f of double x is greater than zero, then you have a local minimum. If it's, the discriminant is more than zero and f of x is less than zero, then you have local maximum. Now, what you want to do next is you want to find the critical points. And to do that, you want to take the derivative of this function in terms of x and the derivative of this function in terms of y. So begin with x, you have 2x plus y plus 3. Now for fy, you have x plus 2y minus 3. After that, you want to set both equations to 0. 2x plus y plus 3 and x plus 2y minus 3. This way, you can find, you can solve for x and y. So with this, we are going to use either substitution or elimination. For this problem, I'm going to use elimination. So you have 0 equals x plus 2y minus 3. Okay, so I'm going to use elimination on this and this. Multiply negative 2 on both all of the terms. You have... 2x plus y plus 3 equals 0 and negative 2x minus 4y plus 6 equals 0. And you could cancel these out. You are left with negative 4y plus y plus 9 equals 0. And you want to solve for y. Negative 4y minus negative 4y plus y is a negative 3y equals negative 9 divide by a negative 3 on both sides, you get y equals 3. Now you want to put plug y into any of these. So I'm going to pick this. Okay, so x plus 2 times 3 minus 3. 2 times 3 is 6 minus 3 is 3. So x plus 3 equals 0. Subtract 3 on both sides, you get x equals negative 3. So the point would be, the critical point would be negative 3, which is the x component, and 3. Okay, after you have the critical point, you want to find second derivative of the function in terms of x and y. So you already have the first derivative over here. We can just continue from there. Okay. So if this is the first derivative, f of double x would then be, derive this in terms of x, you have 2. f of double y would be, derive this in terms of y, you have 2. Okay. And now go back to this formula. D is equal to 2 times 2 minus, and we have to find f of x of y. So if this is f of x, we're going to derive this in terms of y to find f of x of y. So f of x of y is 1. Because when you derive this in terms of y, you regard x's as constants. So the derivative of a constant is 0. Derivative of y is 1, derivative of a constant 0. Add these all together, you are left with 1. So, back to this formula. You have d equals 4 minus 1 squared is 1. So, d is equal to 3. Therefore, the discriminant is 3. Now, 
Go back to look at the if statements to find maxima, minima, and saddle points. Because d is equal to 3, this means that it's d is greater than 0. So you can either have a local minimum or a maximum. And if you look at f of double x, 2 is greater than 0. Therefore, you are going to have a local minimum and at point negative 3, 3. So that is how you do this problem.